Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Medieval. Today we enter the Scarecrow Fields. Which has its own nifty little cutscene, just like the Enchanted Earth. <laughs> Alright then. We have evil scarecrows. I didn't see that coming. From a name of, like, you know, Scarecrow Fields. But yeah. Uh, hey book, what do you have to say? As I keep slashing you until eventually I can read you. That is one tiny gripe I have with this game is positioning of Dan can be kind of a thing. I just killed that crow. The scarecrows are almost unstoppable, so don't try to be a hero. Try tapping them while you make your escape. Try trapping them while you make your escape. Try trapping them. The heck was that? Mean? Okay, well that's a weird possessed villager thingy. Can you push this or Oh, pff, you're indestructible, my ass. Maybe they're unkillable without the broadsword? But we have the broadsword, so we have nothing to worry about. Just gotta slash them a lot. Alright, let's see. Um. Well, I'm lost. Is there a certain command I'm forgetting that he can, like, do? Oh, that was weird. For some reason it started moving. Uh, okay. Read the book! Damn, please. Okay. Beware of mischief makers and metal machines. Who knows what dark sorcery brings their metal limbs to life? It would be good to see the back of such menaces. And for that door, we require the moon room. Usually a second one? No? Oh, there he is. Cool. A thing I can light with my club. Or I can light my club with. Oh, you may notice my health is slightly different um, value amount than before. And that's because... Oh, hello. I can't enchant this sword. Oh yeah, look at it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna unequip it so it stops losing enchantment. Alright. And it's always a hundred, I assume? Yep. Even if it's only at 95%. Uh that's a lot of crossbow bolts I'm missing. There we go. I guess I used a lot during the Ant Queen fight. Which makes sense. She was pretty tough. Alright, but now we have a good boss killer weapon, so we're back to the short sword. Which of course means things will die much, much, much slower. But I still don't have a moon rune. Oh, we have this though. Oh. Um. Um. Help. Hammer? Nope. Uh. Oh, I get it. It would be nice to see the backs of them. I, I got it. Okay. Got him. Kind of. Still need to kill, like, the gremlin creature inside. Oh, uh, did we get him this time? Yep. It is 100% dead. And we get the moon rune. That requires the earth rune, so we need to go, you know, back and forth. <laughs> Alright. 
And using the moon room there allows us access into bats, bats, bats. Oh, hey, I found the club. That's cool. Uh, switch me back to the hammer, please. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's just leave. Alright, earth rune in hand. Let's go this way. Um, well, that's... Yep, that's definitely the thing that hurts you, so don't stand in it like an idiot. <laughs> oh, we have a fountain of rejuvenation here. But yeah, I had to kind of replay that section of the Enchanted Earth we did last time with the, uh, eagle eggs and all that. Because it didn't save. So. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Don't stand there while he's spinning you. It does a lot of damage. A silver shield. That's one way to trap him, right? <laughs> Just up against the thing. And we need the crossbow gun. Okay. Well, we know how this works now, so... It's not like a challenge or anything. Ow! Whoa! Okay. Okay. That's... that's not cool. There we go. And that requires the Chaos Rune, which we just got. Yay! Oh, hi. Wah. You too. Cool Katura, the Serpent Lord, yearns to fight alongside you, but has been captured by Zerok and sealed within a chest. Free this mighty spirit and earn a powerful ally. Interesting. I definitely don't remember anything like that from the second game. Now we're in a corn maze. With the killer crows. Obviously. Actually, it's more like a wheat maze, isn't it? These fields are home to many mad machines, yet the most bizarre of them is housed within this barn. So... Yeah. <laughs> If I could lure a scarecrow or something over here. Hmm. The, the wheat fields are like infected or something, so don't step in them. Oh. That's the serpent. I understand now. He's, he's going to town. Death waits in the cornfield. Pick your root carefully and do not linger in the corn. Well, I see the chalice that's over there. There's also a fountain of rejuvenation over there. So is he just with me for the rest of this little adventure? Because that'd be pretty sick. There's one broken blade there. Just wait for your opportunity and you can proceed. And that's a wheat miller thing. Got a crouch with triangle, I assume. And that's all for some gold. Okay. Okay. We've almost got 100%. Three. Ow. 
Did I get clipped by the corn? Did I get clipped by the windmill? Who knows? But we can now collect the chalice. And that's on fire. That fire is actually very bright. Makes me wonder. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, well, it was worth it. I got an energy vial. Instant death if I get caught like that again, so, uh... I do have a theory, though. Are you ready for this genius? First, we take the club. Then we light it and not me on fire. And then we light the wheat field on fire. Fire, it's not working. Yeah, it just it went out. Okay. Help. Oh. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what one is supposed to do. I mean, you can move this thing and then get into the barn, but I don't want to go into the barn yet. Do I? Maybe I do. Hmm. Either way, uh, there was a fountain of rejuvenation back here somewhere, and I kind of need it. There it is. Oh, that's it. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have the green sparkles, so... The most terrifying of witches in this barn. Bats! Okay, the club's too inaccurate, so I use this thing. Not to say the sword's very accurate either, but you know. It has a swing to it. Corn cutting machine is missing a part. A cog fell off of this miracle of modern agriculture and has some work sense. That's unfortunate. Dang it, Bat, would you go away? There, I got him. Jesus. He only took like half of a life bar out of me. But. Okay, well, I lowered it. Cute little copper shield. It's a corn cutting machine, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Missing a cog, so we gotta go find that. You know, I'm thinking it's back where the windmill is, yeah? Because it was just oddly empty.
Oh, there's money in this tiny alcove that should not be as difficult to navigate as it is. God dang it, get in there! <laughs> Alright. Oh. There's like a whole path over there. Um. Okay then. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh myself here. I don't think that would be a smart way to do it. I didn't pick up a cog during my travels or anything, did I? Nope. Alright. Okay. All refreshed and ready to go. I'm... okay. Ouch. Ouch. But, yeah, that worked about as well as intended, yeah. Uh, well, these are a thing. And that's just the dead end, so we've gotta go against the grain. Get it? Because it's wheat. Ow. Okay, I know it was a bad joke, but jeez, didn't have to kill me for it. Oh, the harvester part. Run! Run, Dan! Okay. Way back should be a million times easier on that one, because it's rotating. Still, still don't understand what the danger is with that one. This one, on the other hand, I can very easily see what the danger is. Because you'll either be crushed to death, or sliced to death, and it's, it's not very pleasant either way. Ooh. Okay, now we just gotta get back to it. Easy peasy. I just, I keep getting caught on the door and it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Alright, well. Now we have this, so we can go up here, go into our inventory, and be all like, boom, harvester part. And then it goes, and away she goes. I'm going to happily, uh, regenerate here. Or rejuvenate, as it were. Isn't it just the most soothing sound in the world? <laughs> to know you're not dying. And it even still has a little bit of juice left. But only a little bit. And across this bridge, we get the Hall of Heroes Chalice, and a life bottle, and a bunch of money. And a dude to resupply us. I'm, I'm sure there's nothing weird about that. Alright, um, well let's go. The Hall of Heroes awaits, and we gotta go back across the puzzles of death. But, you know, platforming puzzles, it's not too bad. And it's not really puzzles, per se, but... Stop getting caught on the door! <laughs> okay. First is the Wheel of Death! Okay, well, there goes the Wheel of Death. But next is the... The Hall of Torture! And the... the, the this thing. This, this thing that I don't understand how is dangerous. 
And finally, the just spindles of terror and pain. Lots of pain. Lots of pain is to be had. Oh, nope. I did it perfectly because go me. Oh, uh, and then the blades of um, butchery. Yes, that's a good word. Blades of butchery. Hello. I want to. I want to talk to you. Okay. Pumpkin gourd, dead ahead. The nursery to gather me as favorite side dish. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. Uh huh. Well, Pumpkin Gorge is next, as he said, so uh, we'll be heading there next time. But first, the Hall of Heroes awaits. Oh. Gaining allies in the Hall of the Heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop, off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. Well, didn't have to be so forceful and forward and stuff about it, did you? Alright, so we can now get the second reward from this guy. By God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it, but remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon! Sure, I'll accept. It's a bunch more money! Yay! It's only like a hundred. It's pretty lame. That is a big gnat. Alright. Well, you know, only every other reward can be any good, right? Actually, what was his first reward? Oh yeah, he gave me freaking chicken drumsticks. Well, whatever. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Medieval. Join me next time when we head to a couple of different places again. No. Well, we have a uh, pumpkin gorge there and the sleeping village there. Well, he said Pumpkin Gorge was dead ahead, so we'll we'll go ahead and go to Pumpkin Gorge first. Until then, later guys.